Hello everyone, if you came here expecting a Line Rider video, I've disappointed you again. This is actually a video of a different game called Ants. Uh, Ants is not a regular game um, because it's played by computers. So just like you can play games against the computer, this is a game where computers play each other. And it was played over at AIChallenge.org and it's part of a contest called the AI Contest. Um, this is the third time I've participated in this contest. Uh, the first time I took 150th out of 700th. Uh, next time I think it was 91st out of 4,200. And this time it was 8th out of around 7,800. So uh, in this game, uh, basically the way it works is you have ants that spawn out of things called ant hills. So in this game there's four players, there's the orange, the purple, and the blue, and the yellow players. And what ha will happen is their ants will move off their ant hills and go to find food, which are these white, uh, beige-ish squares. And once they find food, a new ant will spawn at one of their ant hills. So the idea is you find a bunch of food, you get a whole bunch of ants, and then you go around trying to kill the other ants. And you kill them just by getting in range of them, basically. And well, once you kill them, then you can step on their ant hills. And the scoring of the game is whoever steps on the most ant hills and retains the most amount of their own ant hills wins. So uh, in this game, we're going to be playing against Green T, who's going to be playing Purple. If I was smart, I would have made him green, but I'm not that clever. Uh, he took second place in the contest. And then we have Ben Jackson, who will be playing as Blue, who took 18th. And Alcon, or I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that, but it's A1K0N, who will be playing yellow, who took 11th. He's actually uh, the winner of the contest that took place two contests ago, so the first one I participated in. And I'm playing orange, and I took 8th. Uh, so if you're wondering, if you're from the contest, the way I selected these players is basically I recorded this game uh, early on when, you know, only some of the people had released their source code and these were the best bots I could get to compile the first time. So Exathis isn't in here for example uh, because one he hadn't released his source code yet and two I'd probably just get killed and that's not that much fun. Uh, I have modified my bots slightly from the one I entered in the final contest. I reverted one change that I made near the end of the contest that I think might have made my program a little worse. Uh, but other than that, it should be mostly the same. Uh, so, if you've you've been watching the game for a while now, you might notice that I have the most ants, and I basically win this game. Uh, what I'd like to do is show the game again, because if you're from the contest, you've probably seen a game that looks like this about a hundred times. Or, well, more than that, even. So, it's not that exciting, but I'd like to show it sort of from my program's point of view. Um, so what you're seeing now is uh, obviously a mostly black screen and there's yellow areas on the black screen and those yellow areas are where my program is. So all the ants that are mine will be represented in this game by a green dot and it's going to be the exact same game we just watched and all the enemies will be red dots. And one thing you'll see is there's going to be paths uh, from my ants to different objectives. So there's going to be white paths from my ants to food, red paths uh, when my program decides that it needs to reinforce a battle somewhere, uh, yellow paths which are just uh, sort of miscellaneous paths either to capture a hill or something like that. And there is a yellow background color that starts bright near my hills and then gets progressively darker as it moves away from my ant hills. And what this represents is sort of the general overall strategy of my program. So there comes a certain point in this game where all the obvious objectives are sort of, uh, they, they've been taken. So for example, if you have an ant and you're a piece of food, uh, the best move is almost always going to be to take that piece of food. All right. If you have uh, an ant that's you know a lot near a lot of enemy ants and you don't want it to die, uh, the best move is almost always going to be to run away. Same with capturing a hill, same with, you know, defending one of your own hills, that kind of thing. So, um, but so a lot of the time, there is no obvious move. And in those cases, what my ants will do is they'll try to move as far away from the ant hill as possible, or in this case, they'll try to move from the lighter yellow areas to the darker yellow areas and the black areas. Um, obviously, not the ones that are the walls or the boundaries of the map, because they can't go there. 
but other than that, they'll try to move from the lighter areas to the darker areas. Uh, if you're watching on high definition, you might notice that there is sort of uh, red and green triangles or red and green arrow type things that are pointing from uh, my ants to enemy ants when they're close enough that they could do battle next turn. That simply represents my battle resolution. It's not that easy. It's a little more complicated than, you know, can be shown in uh, a video like this. So if you want to read about it in a more complex strategy, you might want to head over to flagcapper.com and read about things there and download the source code and see if you can decipher the messiness. Uh, other than that, the game's coming to a close now. So I hope you found this somewhat interesting and maybe uh, w would like to, I don't know, participate in one of the next contests or something like that. Just read about it in general. So thanks for listening, and maybe next time I'll have a line writer video for you. Bye.